Park. We actually got some live baseball action going on, taking on the fireflies tonight and luckily still dry at SRP Park. There is one little tiny shower over in Columbia County, but luckily staying away uh, from the state line right here. 84 degrees currently here in Augusta. Temperatures today only topped out at 89 in town, so another day below average for us. Here's a look at that rainfall that we are looking at across Columbia County. It is really trying to come to an end. It was a little bit heavier just about an hour ago, but uh, fizzling out, so just some light rain between Appling and Evans there. We are looking at the sea breeze front pushing inland. You can see that skinny blue line right here. So that's that uh, slightly drier, cooler air that's kind of helping lift up uh, these showers and storms across central Burke County. Uh, very sparse, though, not expecting necessarily a ton of rain activity as we do head into later tonight. Moving forward Thursday and Friday, we're going to be tracking a series of severe thunderstorm complexes that are starting out in the um, upper plains in the Midwest, and then they're just going to drop towards the southeast towards us over the next couple of days. So it's going to be tricky forecasting because our forecast is impacted by what these complexes end up evolving to and how fast they move, how strong they get. Uh, right now we're looking at our rain chances to really peak kind of late into our Thursday afternoon and portions of our Thursday night, and then we'll see another wave of showers and storms form that will push in for our uh, Friday. So we're going to see a couple of rounds of heavy rainfall. The timing of them looks to be a little bit tricky, uh, but it looks like by uh, Friday afternoon we'll see that last complex kind of push off the coast and then we turn into a much more seasonal pattern for the weekend with highs in the 90s, more humidity and just a few pop up storms each afternoon, Saturday and Sunday. But take a look at this. This is looking more and more impressive. So this is our expected rain totals Thursday, Friday, even into our Saturday and showing wide spread rain totals over one to two inches, possibly seeing even higher totals in a few spots if uh, you do get stuck underneath the storm for too long. This is why we have been placed underneath a flood risk, so a slight flood risk even for our western and northern counties tomorrow. That's mainly for the heavy rain that should show up late Thursday evening into Thursday night, and then we'll continue to see that heavy rain threat on Friday drops down to a marginal risk, uh, but just can't rule out that those flood prone areas still have to deal with a few issues out there throughout the day Friday. So here's how our rain chances are looking. The heavy rain Thursday, definitely a higher confidence. The heavy rain would show up kind of late afternoon into Thursday night, stick around through Friday morning. And then if we see a lot of heavy rain Friday morning, that would kind of limit our rain chances later into the afternoon. Now, if we flip flop that on Friday, if the rain kind of shows up late into the day, then that's what we could have to worry about the potential for severe weather. So we're going to have to keep a close eye on this over the next couple of days. Definitely stay updated on the forecast. By the weekend, we're back to highs in the 90s, more humidity, in just a few storms each afternoon. Downtown Augusta is the scene of a number of construction projects right now.